I remember when I was in sixth grade and my mom bought me this cool airwalk sweater and it was really big and I went to school and I was really excited to like show off my cool new sweater and all of these people made fun of me and my sweater because it was too big and then I went home and I like threw the sweater outside and I was like mom like why did you like, get this for me anyway sometimes like now as an adult I see that kind of stuff happening and I think like as an adult like wow that doesn't matter like people just talking about other people's clothes but I remember how it made me feel then and how I felt really really sad about a sweater even though it like doesn't Anyway, um, I don't know. But I understand how unhappy being bullied can make people. My name is Gord, and when I was young, I was bullied in mostly junior high school, and at times I was a bully too. Um, now that I'm older, I certainly appreciate and understand uh, what bullying is more than I did way back many years ago. And uh, being on either side of the fence is no fun. Certainly being bullied uh, is hurtful and uh, lowers your self-esteem and uh, takes away your confidence. And uh, now that I'm older and look back at some of the people that I actually bullied, I feel uh, a great sense of guilt and uh, find myself wondering about those people today and how they're doing. Um, so I guess the bottom line is uh, don't do it. And if you see other people doing it, uh, say something. Uh, that's where that's where the solution to the problem of bullying is. Uh, it's it's within each one of us to use the power that we have to say no, stop. It's enough. And uh, yeah, stop bullying. So one time in grade eight, I was bullied by somebody. Uh, it lasted for quite a while. I basically had to tell my dad eventually because I felt pretty scared going to school. Um, once my dad found out, um, he contacted the parents and that didn't really do too much because I don't think the parents really cared. So I ended up talking to the bully afterwards and I let him know that um, I let my parents know and some other adults know and he sort of understood that it was a little bit more severe than what he thought it was. He thought it was all fun and games but it really wasn't. So talking about it to somebody older was a good idea and confronting the bully is also a good idea, but basically you want to have people around just in case they want to act out any violence towards you. So when I was being bullied, uh, it was a physical bullying. So I was sort of dragged around by my collar quite a bit and it was sort of choking me. So it was very scary at the time. Uh, I couldn't breathe for a while and the bully didn't seem to uh, care at all. So after I got out eventually, I sort of I stayed away, I was a faster runner, so I stayed away from that guy. Stand up to bullying. Stand up to bullying. Stand up to bullying.